Hey everyone, welcome back to some more Fontaine story. Last time, Freenan like met us, and like um, we were stunned with what, with her entrance basically. I was stunned. I'm still stunned by it. But Linny asked us to share some magic pockets, I think. So that's the mission right now. Distribute, yeah, distribute magic pockets to nearby residents. I'm just observing everything. Like, look at this. Look at this robot. It's so, it's so detailed. Like, I started Genshin in 2021, February, uh, around the time the first Lantern ride was happening. So, I'll tell you. Huh? <laughs> I don't want that thing. The way I see it, if the prophecy's true, it's still gonna be a long time before the water can cover everything. Life is all about living in the moment. What use is there in worrying about the future all the time? We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. You should still take it. You never know when it'll come in handy. Oh, all right, fine. Thanks. It's just that... If I start moving, that means I've already given up on the life I have now. I'd really rather not. Yes, yeah, so I made my account in February of 2021. And at that moment, it was Lantern Ride, right, I think. But I was just stunned by the game. I took a break for like four months, came back in four to five months, or maybe a six month break, came back in September. And then I was, I'm still, I'm still here. So you're the blonde traveler that everyone's been talking about. My apologies for not recognizing you earlier. A magic pocket? Seems you really thought of everything. I guess it's better to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Thanks. Oh, please, also thank the magician on my behalf when you get the chance. I mean, I never expected Genshin would look like this now. This is amazing. What's this? Ah, so you also believe in the prophecy. Keep it. I won't have any use for it. What? You mean, you don't believe in the prophecy? No, no, I believe in the prophecy. But I also believe in another story. The story says that people once lived in the ocean. They were one with the ocean and couldn't live apart from it. But as time wore on, people desired to live on land and developed blood vessels encapsulating the sea within their bodies. Thus could people set foot on land. So, if you ask me, when the water rises and takes us all, it'll be like we're going home. Oh, we hadn't heard that one before. But people can't live underwater, they'll die. You should probably still take it. <sighs> All right, I'll take it. I guess I just feel that being dissolved into the water doesn't necessarily mean death. All right, go back to Lenny. Now it is well. Ah, the frame rate's dropping. Ah, it's just like an initial thing. It gets okay later on. Oh. You already handed out all of the magic pockets? Hm. That was fast. So, what did people have to say? I bet you heard some... Uh, interesting opinions. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I know they'll change their minds, so it's only right to help them prepare. Is there anything else you need to do before we leave? Yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the Court of Fontaine. Since we're out and about, I was thinking about bringing him some more materials. So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look like and we'll help! Many hands make light work! Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. I remember seeing them near the waterfront on the east side of the harbor. Alright, find some new materials. Interesting. I really like the waterfall, like that huge waterfall. 
It's almost as massive as the canyons. Okay, gotta go back to search the materials. Honestly, I don't like when the map's all blacked out, I have no idea where I'm going. So right here you're gonna see me get a little distracted. I and mean, I'm just taking everything in, you know. Because it's the first time that I'm exploring this as well. So I wanna like capture everything for my videos. So that if somebody that doesn't even play Genshin watches my video, they'll be like, okay, so it's that massive. It's not just a linear story based game or a character connecting game. There's much more to it than the than those few things. It seems we have to use Hydra to collect for maritime flowers. I okay, guess that's nice that I have Nilu in the party. Yeah. Although should have gone and got Hydra Traveler first, but oh well. Nilu will handle it. With all my strength. And I actually tested out Nilu Bloom against a few bosses. Like I've been exploring a lot now before I start the second act. So I have, I, have, I have those recorded as well. I'm gonna post it soon, like after three or four parts of the story are out, maybe. Just give me time to edit. But yeah, I've seen it. And Neely Bloom is like amazing against the bosses over here. Like they, it just wrecks them. Bloom is an amazing thing. It's probably my favorite thing. Favorite combat mechanic in the game. You made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced traveler. I've also finished collecting a few here. Maybe next time you'll feel like helping too, Lynette. No way. I'm in power saving mode today. Otherwise, I fear I may not have any energy left for the performance at the Opera House. <sighs> Fine. Though the performance is still a long way off. Now that we're finished here, we should get ready to head back to the Court of Fontaine. So, we're going to the Court of Fontaine before we head to the Opera House? Good. Paimon wants a tour of Fontaine's largest city and try... Wait, shh. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. notice anything? <laughs> She's obviously a thief. Magicians and thieves practice similar methods. We divert attention and a distracted audience is one that won't discover what you're really doing. Watch her movements carefully. Your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. Perhaps we should split up. You two can ride the lift over there and wait up top. I bet that'll be her escape route if she tries to run. All right, let's go. Oh, we're finally gonna get to use the lift. Get to the lift, top of the lift to cut off the thief's escape. You know that thief. Had a very unique appearance. Even though she's got that typical NPC face and a typical Fontaine outfit, but she's got a unique appearance. At least when I saw her for the first time, her face struck in my head. I think it was intentionally shown. I don't know. Let's see how long this lift takes. It's a long lift. Man, it's. It's pretty long. I think it's longer than the Potomos one, but that's just one floor. This is like going to an entire city. This is like crossing the waterfall. Alright, we're gonna chill here. Yeah, some lift music also playing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the Aquabus. You know, somewhat it reminds me of Monstad a bit. The environment. This is the spot where Lenny wanted us to wait. Oh, did she 
notice us? She started running the other direction. What should we do? Should we chase her? <sighs> You're right. She might also be trying to lure us away. Nothing's happened for a while now. Paimon wonders if Lenny caught the thief. Yeah, let's go. Alright, time to find Lenny. Hey, we got a Sumeru researcher here. Ah, we got a dog. You know, we need a function that, like, we could pet the dogs and cats. It'll be really appreciated. Hoyos, if somebody from Hoyos is watching, please add this feature. I really want to pet the dog or the cat. Are you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure you're not missing anything else. N no, that was all. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I didn't notice a thing earlier. Anyway, I should be going now. Thanks again. Oh, were you returning with the thief had stolen? That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. By the time I looked back, she was already gone. I saw the general direction she went, but Linny twisted his ankle, and I needed to make sure he was okay. Oh, did you get hurt, Linny? I'll be all right. It's just a twisted ankle, that's all. In fact, it's feeling better already. If you want to play at being a hero, at least try not to get hurt doing it. Imagine what would happen if you managed to derail our performance as a result. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Sorry, Lynette. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more skilled than I had anticipated. But at least we were able to get the stolen items back, so it wasn't a complete failure. What a slippery little thief! Guess things turned out alright in the end, though. Lenny's initiative paid off! Alright, let's put this little detour behind us. We should go to the Court of Fontaine now. Oh, but before we go there, I'm gonna unlock the Statue of Seven. I want my Hydro Powers. I go exciting. It's you know what? You can see the the tree over there. I like I like this about Genshin. Like from any point of the map, you can see other regions or features of the other regions, and that's just beautiful. It feels like an entire world. Okay, unlocked a part of the map finally. The Maritime Harbor. Ah, we got a Linny boss. It's an easy boss. Neil Bloom. It's actually cute that we've got two mentions of Paimon getting stuck in water. And we got some hints as to how she got stuck in the water with that whirlpool and all. Okay, we got what hydro now. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. That's that's pretty amazing skill. Let's check out out. Check her out. I mean I have the dendro set on her, so I'm gonna swap to some basic artifacts that I 
hurriedly prepared before Fontaine dropped. I'm using the Nymph set because I have no energy to farm another Hydro set, so I'm just gonna use something that I have. It should work on her, I have a feeling, because the Nymph set works with charge attacks, basic attacks, and I don't know, I just hope it works on her. If not, maybe I'll change it. I mean, we have a whole new region, we're gonna get new artifacts, so probably. Something else could work. But for now, I'm just gonna stick with this. It also looks aesthetically cool on her, like with the Hydra and all. Okay, now we head to the Court of Fontaine. This is an aqua bus. It allows people to travel between several key locations around Fontaine. It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. The scenery is always the same. That's why it's better to travel with friends. So you mean it's still boring even when I'm riding with you? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's just that, uh, well, you don't really talk that much. Besides, it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. It's the same as being at home. <laughs> hmm. Whatever. Guess that's what it's like to be an older brother. <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. Let's get on board. Hey, Charlotte. Riding the Aquabus? In the story of my life, this is big news! What are you doing in Fontaine? I didn't hear anything about you paying us a visit. Yeah, it's quite the coincidence, but as travelers, we're always on the move. It's not surprising that nobody knew we were coming. Uh, though, we still have no idea how the Hydro Archon knew about us. Oh, let Paimon introduce you to our new friends! Oh, no need for introductions, Paimon. I would recognize the great magician Linny and his assistant Lynette anywhere. I wouldn't be much of a reporter if I didn't know who they were. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird. Nice to meet you. From the Steambird, huh? We've often relied on your paper to promote our performances. It's an honor to meet you. Now that everyone knows each other, Fontaine suddenly doesn't feel like such an unfamiliar place. So, what have you been up to lately, Charlotte? Any big news? Not too much. When there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. You can still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle, even if it's the same old topics. For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships, or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. Ah, you're right. Seems you know me pretty well. What I'm really after is exclusive, sensational news pieces that could shake the country. These smaller stories are a waste of my talents. Oh, I just remembered. I've been following a case lately. Well, a series of cases, actually. You mean the Serial Disappearances of Young Women case? That's right! These stories are the talk of the town right now, and it's probably the most mysterious case we've ever seen. If I'm the first with a draft ready to publish when the case is finally cracked, and it's the headline story in the Steambird! Oh, when that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed tears of envy. 
I've already gathered all kinds of materials. I just can't wait for the truth to be revealed. So, what is the serial disappearances of young women case? You mean the culprit hasn't been found? That's right. The first missing girl case happened almost 20 years ago. And ever since, after a period of time, another girl disappears. What the cases have in common is that the girls are all of a similar age and that they've all vanished without a trace. It's like a different take on But the scariest part Jack is the that Ripper. to this day, none of the girls have ever been found. Definitely Jack the Ripper. Many suspects have been arrested over the years in connection with this case, but shortly after each arrest, another disappearance would always happen. Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every case has some precise truth behind it, waiting to be exposed. Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of those missing girls deserves some sort of explanation. I just imagined for a second what I would do if Lynette were to suddenly disappear. I'd pay any price to get her back, and then find a way to track down the culprit. Please don't imagine that, Lenny. Alright, yeah, so that serial disappearance woman case, I'm definitely thinking that it's taken inspiration from Jack, either Jack the Ripper or some detective novel that I have not really read yet. But seriously, it's an interesting case and that caught my eye. I'm a sucker for detective novels, detective stuff, so if it's detective involved, I'm always there, I'll be hyped for it. Sherlock Holmes, Hercule Poirot, things like that, I love it. Hey! I really like the the creepy yet uh, unique music like the it's it's a very different type of music like it's not common I mean it's not like Sumeru it's very unique it's very middle European age I think it's amazing it's pretty unique it really makes you feel like you're in like the 1600s or 1700s and you have that kind of stuff. That's that, that, that kind of era. Uh, they, they, they nailed the music. It's, it's amazing. Well, I really enjoyed chatting with you. Life should be full of pleasant little surprises like this. Yeah, us as well. The ride went by too quickly. Ah, uh, I have an interview to get to. I should get going before I'm late. We can chat again soon, Charlotte. See ya! <laughs> Bye now. Oh, be sure to stop by and see me at the Steambird when you have time. What a tough job. Always running around and interviewing everyone. <sighs> well, where should we go now? If you don't mind, how about we stop by my home first? Besides, I still have all the materials we collected. Sure, we wouldn't mind at all. This city is so huge, Paimon wouldn't know where to start anyway! Okay, I thought we had to follow Lenny, but maybe not. Okay, that's, that's beautiful. That's amazing. Amazing work of art. I really love the lighting. I think they've updated the lighting in this version. They've added global illumination, which honestly enhances the game. Like it's it's a subtle difference, but you notice it, and it looks beautiful like that. Okay, we got the first quest complete: City of Rains and Remembrance. Go to where Linny is. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna swim later. Uh, I'm currently. Captured by the beauty of Fontaine. So, like swimming, I'll do swimming. No worry. But we'll do it when the time comes. When, when the time is right. Okay, we have Sumeru scholars here, which kind of makes sense because Fontaine and Sumeru are just close by, so they could be like travelers. 
incoming fire zones but the video is going to be set in fountain so be prepared guys <laughs> already given you a sneak peek gives me time to explore the fountain environment as well it'll help me i uh, proved to be a good story material this is our current abode ah fremine your home where did everyone else go i have some new friends that i would like to introduce Oh, they all just went out a moment ago. I see. Everyone is getting busier now that Father will be returning soon. I suppose that can't be helped. Allow me to introduce you to my little brother, Fremine. He is a phenomenal diver. Uh, hello. Nice to meet you! Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler! Oh, you sound very proud to have a diver as a brother, Linny. <laughs> uh, Linny, could you come here for a moment? Hmm? What is it, Fremine? Do you have something to tell me? Hmm, okay, I see. Is everything all right? Oh, it's nothing. We were just discussing a little housework. Sorry for the interruption. Oh, uh, before I forget, the Traveler and I collected more materials to make magic pockets. Were you able to get any, Fremine? Yes, I went diving and gathered lots of materials. I was about to give them to you. That's our Fremine, always quick with the underwater work. All right, I'll take these to the workshop. Looks like rain. Oh, you're right. But wasn't it clear and sunny just a moment ago? Hmm. Fontaine's weather sure is weird. <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. It often rains on days where there are trials being held in the Opera House, but don't worry, it'll clear up soon enough. <sighs> hmm? What's wrong, Fremine? There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. It's said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Though we don't know where the dragon went, every time it weeps, the skies will cloud up and pour out rain. When I was a child, my mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play, I should yell toward the sky at the top of my lungs. Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! then having the power to make it rain wouldn't be very unusual. Hmm. Let Paimon try something. Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon! Don't cry! Hmm? Huh. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be of any use. It is just a legend, after all. You know, you might be a more popular magician if you understood the concept of romanticism. Or could at least play along. <laughs> Sorry. It might be because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Perhaps it can't be comforted by the words of strangers. Hmm. It rained for longer than I suspected. It's already getting late. Was there something you needed to do, Linny? Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. I need to find a way to catch the last Aquabus of the day. On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Araneus. I'll have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of the Opera House. Oh, uh, are you leaving now? What is it, Fremine? I'm in a hurry. Oh, I get it. You feel nervous delivering the materials for the magic pockets, is that it? Perhaps we could trouble the Traveler to help us take these materials to the Beaumont workshop and deliver them to the owner there? 
I'm afraid that Fremenet can be quite introverted, and the boss there tends to be pretty talkative. <laughs> Fremenet has always been a little afraid of her. No trouble at all! Don't worry, we're on the case! Sorry for the inconvenience. I'm quite useless when it comes to such tasks. I'll think of a way to make it up to you. Oh, no need, no need. This will be a walk in the park for us. Oh, yeah, I gotta deliver stuff. First, we're gonna talk to him. Thanks again, you two. I really can't deal with that lady. Alright. Okay, first things first. Uh, when Linny said father, it was in double and words, so... That's... A something we noticed about. I noticed it immediately. But I didn't make... But I couldn't make sense of it. Like, why it was father and inverted captions? Like, is, there, is that a title? It's probably a title, right? That's why it's in word, otherwise you'd have small f. That, about that, maybe we'll get the answer in the story. Now we're gonna explore Fontaine, but that's gonna happen in the next part, because right now, I'm gonna end this video. It's been quite a lot of stuff, right? But next part, we're gonna continue with the story. I'm trying to keep it episodic, you know, 30 minutes or so. So, yeah, that's about it for now. Uh, have a great day. Hope you enjoy this video. If you're new, subscribe. The usual. And, yeah, goodbye.